welcome to the College of Lake County Board of Trustees meeting. Uh, could we have a roll call, please? Mr. Anderson? Here. Dr. Finger? Here. Dr. Griffin? Here. Ms. Holland? Mrs. Olshar? Here. Ms. Shiroka? Here. Mr. Stanton? Here. Mr. Lopez? Here. As some of you may notice, we have some new, a new face sitting up here. Some of you may know her already as Julie Shroka. Well, thank you. Julie was sworn in at the retreat that we held last week, so she's up and running and already went through a bunch of interviews with college presidential candidates. So she's ready, ready to be a trustee. Before asking for approval of the agenda, I have a few agenda announcements. First, for agenda item 73, resolution adopting 2017 tax, 2017 tax levy. On page 40 in the second paragraph, the beginning of the third line should read as follows. Aggregate levy for the year 2016, not 2017, as stated in board court. Second, I will request a closed meeting under the Illinois Compile Statutes 5 ILCS 20, Section 2C1. The appointment, employment, compensation, discipline, performance, or dismissal of specific employees of the public body. Section 2C2, collective negotiating matters between the public body and its employees. And Section 2C6, the setting of a price for sale or lease of property owned by the public body. There will be no action after the closed meeting. Finally, agenda item 13.1, 50th anniversary of plan and recommendations will be covered in the President's report. Now I will ask for approval of the agenda. Can we have a motion, please? So, so moved. Second. Third. Discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Lopez? Aye. Mrs. Oshlager? Aye. Ms. Shiroka? Aye. Mr. Stanton? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Finger? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Approval of the minutes. Uh, item 2.1, regular meeting of October 24, 2017, included in the board book, and 2.2, closed meeting of October 24, 2017. Can we have a motion for those two sets of minutes? So moved. Second? Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Lopez? Aye. Mrs. Oshlager? Aye. Ms. Shiroka? Aye. Mr. Stanton? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Finger? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. The committee, the whole meeting, uh, trustee meeting of November 7, 2017, included in the board book. <coughs> Can we have a motion to approve them? So moved. Second? Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Lopez? Aye. Mrs. Oshlager? Aye. Ms. Shiroka? Aye. Mr. Stanton? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Finger? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Now then, uh, receipt of notices, communications, hearings, and petitions. This is the part of the meeting where the public may address the board. And if there is someone who would like to do so, please approach the podium, which is over there, and state your name, and if available, provide your written comments or contact information to Karen Sinase after you have spoken. <coughs> Up at one, all at once now. And we will, hearing none, we'll move on to the chair's report. And Hansel uh, has a student trustee report, so Hansel, the floor is yours. I attended an ICCB SAC meeting on the 10th of November. There we voted on topics for Student Advocacy Day when students from all around the state get together in Springfield and advocate to our senators and Congress. We'll be advocating for the MAP grant and Community College BS in nursing degrees on April 19, 2018. The Women's Center hosted its annual Thanksgiving drive by adopting a family. Donors provide a meal for the holiday with approximately <coughs> two, two families. Approximately 65 students and their families are expected to receive a meal this Thanksgiving. CLC celebrated Diversity Week from November 6th through the 9th, and the Multicultural Student Center hosted a speed cultural networking event in which students learned face-to-face -face about each other's cultures, attended a film and discussion on interracial dating and relationships, displayed Islamic fashions from around the globe hosted by Muslim Student Alliance, and enjoyed international desserts at Taste of Diversity. Cultural awareness flourished last week as the college celebrated International Week. The student commons blossomed with student-led presentations on their native countries, 
cultures, traditions, and desserts. The South Lake Campus resonated with Korean drumming led by award-winning Global Pongmo Institute, a workshop on traditional Korean music, and dancing presented by the Chicago Korean Dance Company. Throughout the week, students learned of study abroad for college credit opportunities in Costa Rica, Iceland, Italy, Japan, Switzerland, and Tanzania. A competition for best travel photos was held for categories including people, landscapes, architecture, landmarks, and cultural experiences. And Cafe Willow served international cuisine throughout the week, <coughs> representing China, Cuba, Japan, Britain, and Greece. The week ended with faculty, staff, and students participating in trivia night with proceeds supporting the Susan Smith Scholarship. Student Activities Campus Leaders for Community Service Conference was held this month and coordinated by Yasmin Patino, our AmeriCorps Vista volunteer. Student clubs and organizations are required to perform at least 10 hours of community service and participate in leadership workshops. SGA has chosen to volunteer at Bernie's Book Bank and with the Boys and Girls Club of Lake County this year. And that's the end of my report. Thank you, Anselm. Any other board members have any questions?